the channel. I'm so glad to finally sit down and actually record something for y'all. I know I've been posting things, but that was stuff that I kind of already have recorded. So this is the first time I've really kind of sat down in front of a camera and recorded something and just hide that other you know, pleasantness there. But <laughs> anyways, I'm trying because I've never really worn this. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. And I think I'm gonna make it into a shirt, honestly. So instead of a uh, dress and me and my hair look really at it. But anyways, <laughs> the point of this video is before all of this mess happened, I think before we went on lockdown for like two months, you know, with my work, because I work for a school, so we were the first to go on lockdown. Well, I was sitting at work and I come up with this idea, and it is this lovely little ghost in hiding plaque. I love how this turned out. It is so cute. And I'm thinking about either putting it on bags or shirts and putting them in the shop. If y'all would like that, let me know down in the comments as of right now. It is currently on this lovely little plaque. Like if y'all want plaques too, then I can do that, but I'm thinking about if I do put these in the shop, I might change the flowers slightly, just because they're a pain in the butt to do. But other than that, I love how everything turned out. But I'm going to show y'all how we made this. Obviously, I use my Cricut machine, and some spray paint, and a simple little board, and that's pretty much all it is. I want to do a clear coat on it, but I just haven't got around to it yet, even though it's been hanging on my wall for two months. and. I just haven't felt the need to take it out, to be quite honest. But before we jump into that, if this is your first ever video and your lovely... I lost what I was going to say. <laughs> Anyways, if this is your first ever video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We're going to be here for all of our random content that I currently mess up all the time. So yes, and I will go ahead and jump into the video about how we made this and meet y'all back at the end. Okay, like y'all have seen me do so many times in the past, we are going to be spray painting this board with this black spray paint. And this I just got from Hobby Lobby. I've had this for a minute, but it was originally, this is the brand and it was originally, I think, $9.99, but I did get it on sale. Plus, the main reason I got it is it already has the little spots so you can hang it up so I don't have to add any of that to it. So we're just going to sit here and we're going to spray paint for a minute. Okay, I got it spray painted and I just have to let it dry. Thankfully, it's kind of a windy day, so hopefully this will be dry somewhat soon and then we can move on to the next portion. Okay, so we have our plaque all dry and inside, so it's ready to go. And I've already measured how big I'm probably going to make it because I figured out I'm going to do it long ways just for the way the design is. So I'm going to do it as a 12 by 8 just so it'll fit in there perfectly. And I already have my sheet nice and loaded with my shiny vinyl I'm going to be using. This is just some vinyl. I think it's the outdoor vinyl actually that you can buy like sheets of at Michael's. It was 98 cents so that's why I just went ahead and got this. And then if we look over here, well you can kind of see there we go. This is the design we're going to be doing. I love the way it looks. It's ghost in disguise and I finally found like ghost in hiding and I found this cute little patchwork ghost so it does kind of look like somebody's just kind of covered up in a sheet. I thought it was super cute. So this is the design we're going to be doing so I'm just going to adjust the sizing on here and then we're going to print that booger out and we're going to stick it onto our plaque. Okay so just a quick update and yes I could record my screen but I really don't feel like it so I'm doing it this way but just a quick update I did change my measurements I'm gonna do it as a 9 by 10.016 just so it would be proportional and still fit onto our plaque so I just wanted to let you know that I am changing the sizing on this now we're going to move on to cutting it and then we're going to move on to placement Okay, so now that I finally have this project all nice and weeded and everything is ready to go and I've already got it for the transfer tape, and hopefully I have it sealed enough so when we do pull it off, it'll be all nice and even. So what we're going to do now is move over to our board and we're going to put our image onto our board. So it's going to look roughly about that, just you know, it's going to have the black coming through. So let's see if we can do this. Get this off of the backing. Okay, now I'm only going to pull this halfway because I want to make sure I get everything lined up. So about where my middle is.
coffee and before I actually stick it down I want to make sure because at this point I can still kind of pull it up and readjust it. that's why you don't you want to make sure you get it nice and even before we stick it down That looks pretty good. So now we'll actually smooth it out and use our little tool here to put it onto the board. Okay, and then we'll just pull the rest of it slowly. little crooked this one's mine so it's a good learning process but get that nice and transferred okay now let's pull off our transfer tape I'm gonna try and just rip it off like a band-aid Okay, there we go guys. I finally got it stuck on here. Sorry, it took me a bit longer than I thought it was going to because I did have some trouble with it wanting to stick. But it's on here. It's not moving. <laughs> so now all that's left really is to clear coat this, but I will do that later and off camera. And plus I don't have any clear coat, but all I use is just the clear coat that you can get from uh, Walmart. You know, it's, it literally says clear coat on it. It's in the spray paint section. And I just spray that over it to make sure this gets a nice good seal on it. And then we can hang this this up and it's all nice and done so that is our little project about how to make one of these wooden plaques it's fairly easy it's mainly you just need a cricket machine and a little bit of know-how and lots of patience so now I gotta work on getting that chalk off but that is pretty much it guys I hope y'all enjoyed this okay so I hope y'all enjoyed that like I said it's fairly easy if you have a cricket machine if not I don't really know any other way besides getting like Halloween stickers maybe that you could do something like this because I know you can find the lettering but as far as like a little ghost or something I don't know there might be a sticker on Amazon I haven't actually looked or I know you can probably get decals and stuff on Etsy all the time but um that's if you wanted to make your own I was afraid to talk here. And I'm sorry if y'all see me keep looking over, but Jake is out and he just like randomly staring at me. <laughs> so it just kind of catches me off guard that I have something watching me while I record. Normally I'm in here by myself. But um, so yes, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all found it easy. Like I said, everything I got, I got it from Hobby Lobby and they did already have the little notches drilled in it but you can I think I've showed you on some of my other projects you can get some little brackets to put up here and to hang it on the wall but this came pre-done and it was only $9.99 I think I got it on sale but <laughs> you know everything's on sale right now crafting the lore since they're reopening stores so everything is currently on sale I've been loading up the canvases let me tell you I got a lot of canvases but like I said hope y'all enjoyed let me know down in the comments if y'all would like to see this with on like more things and I can post them in the shop I might only do like a couple so you know there's not going to be that many but anyways this is lovely looking and I still got to get my chalk out of the middle of it like I said it's been hanging on my wall for two months and I haven't done to my wall <laughs> aside from when the video was recorded it's just been there but I hope y'all enjoy this let me know how everybody is doing I hope you are all doing well and getting through this craziness and I will see y'all in the next video thank you so much for watching guys bye